week uh, to my rant series. Uh, this is episode three, and today we will be talking about exercise. Now, I know a lot of people don't like the idea of exercise, um, and that's fine. I was the same. Uh, did PE at school, hated it, etc. Not the best in the class and all that. Um, but I think exercise is a great thing um, to change your mood. Um, and if you want to come in at an entry level, I suggest taking up walking um, and then after a while doing swimming and maybe moving on to cycling. Now you can also do things like jogging as well and long distance running and all these things but the point is you don't have to do these things if you don't want to. You could just go for a walk and that would be perfectly sufficient for the amount of exercise that you need in the week. Uh, providing you walk at a reasonable pace um, when I'm walking I'm walking uh, you know for me it's like there's no point in, in, in walking at that pace I might as well be jogging or running but um, if that's the only exercise you plan on doing I suggest you do it uh, relatively quickly um, otherwise you won't get up to the level where you will be raising your heart rate um, and that's what it's all about now your normal stroll yes it's exercise but it just doesn't get your heart rate going and that's kind of the point um, it might be good for um, getting you out of a rut when it comes to mental health though so I do recommend it for that but for your actual proper exercise you need to uh, you know you need to sweat a bit get your heart rate up um, I've, I've just got an e-bike um, you know so if you're rich I do recommend getting yourself one of them and if you're not I recommend getting a normal bike um, it's about four times faster than walking if you're doing it at a reasonable pace you could get a lot faster than that if you're athletic um, but what I like about cycling is it gives you a slow and steady level of exercise uh, swimming is also really good because it uses your entire body um, supported by the water of course but um, you know you might burn 600 calories an hour swimming or maybe 600 calories an hour cycling um, talk about calories in another video but um, walking in comparison slow walking you're probably talking more like 240, 280 if you're lucky calories an hour so you know less than half the exercise but something is better than nothing um, so yes if you're new to exercise start walking and then try and progress that to something else um, I'm not much of a jogger myself do it now and again but Cycling is for me, and uh, it is really important that you find out what is for you, because um, people might say go to the gym, and that's very good for them. If they like lifting weights, um, or even if they like the majority of cardio uh, exercises in there, or even the um, remember what they're called I'm, I'm a level 2 gym uh, I've got a level 2 gym fitness certificate and I can't even remember what they call them fucking stupid machines you know the machines that you go on it's been a while it's 
been a while. Um, this is why I wouldn't do level 3 to get my personal trainer certificate which is what all them you know fancy trainers that you see on TV they've all got that level 3 certificate because um, I just don't think I would hire me at the moment uh, <laughs> my, my physique is well off um, and I would say if, if you're talking about losing weight um, exercise is important but diet is more important as I will go into that video at, at a later date um, however it's probably easier to start exercising than it is to cut down or change what you're eating I, I would find um, depending on the person I guess um, but you know exercise is not a dirty word I mean I went out on my bike today I did you know 7.8 miles which may sound like a lot but by my standards that's that's a crap day but I think that's the key you know if you can get out and do some exercise when you're not feeling like doing it then you're winning because the thing is if you one day you feel like not doing anything guess what next day you're probably not going to do anything day after you're not going to do anything really it's better to do uh, a small amount than it is to do nothing I know this is all obvious stuff but it bears repeating really um, I lost a lot of weight uh, doing exercises and uh, this was a long time ago back in like 2007-2008 when I uh, first got a wee um, I didn't want to go to the gym uh, I wanted to prove a point and my point was that I could play games ex exercise games uh, and lose weight and uh, I certainly did I uh, lost uh, I lose track maybe like 84 pounds uh, which was what's that you know uh, 6 kilo uh, 6 stones um, don't know what that is in kilos uh, kilos 2.2 .2 pounds per kilo um, so yeah, um, what did I say? 86 pounds. Did I say 84 pounds? I think it was. So that's like nearly 40 kilos. We'll say th between 30 and 40 kilos. That's, that's a lot of weight. It took me a long, 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 long time. Uh, that's the only thing. It did take me five years but that was five years of doing nothing but um, sort of playing Wii exercise games, Wii Fit, Wii Sports and all that if you want to know what sort of games are good hit me up with a message and I'll, I'll let you know but that's definitely how I lost that weight the first time proving a lot harder this time but that's another story um, but yeah it, I would say the key thing is find something you enjoy don't just go to the gym because people are telling you to do it you know if, uh, if going for a run lights you up do that for me it's it's going for a cycle on my e-bike um, occasionally going for a swim uh, definitely not power walking though or jogging or running but uh, still do now and again just to just to mix it up anyway okay so next video will probably be on uh, let's go for let's go um, let's go for diet health